on the web and in your hands. This is MDI TV. Here's an example of a rough day. You go to the doctor and she says, you need heart surgery. But I'm feeling fine, doc, you say. You really want to cut open my heart? That's the situation faced by people who have a type of heart valve problem called severe mitral valve regurgitation. The problem is that blood is flowing backwards between beats. People with malfunctioning mitral valves often feel just fine, but when there's a lot of blood flowing the wrong way, over the long haul, their hearts will suffer. In the right hands, mitral valve repairs usually work, but it's still major surgery and sometimes people die. So surgeons say the big question is whether to operate early or wait until symptoms develop. Dr. Mark Gilinoff is among those who say, don't wait. The fact is, if your mitral valve is severely broken, it is only going to get worse, it is only going to damage your heart, and it's not going to fix itself. So if you have severe mitral regurgitation, surgical correction is inevitable. Dr. Gilinoff and colleagues at the Cleveland Clinic reviewed the experiences of people who have a problem with just the heart valve itself. There's a separate group of people who have other heart problems that then cause leaks in the mitral valve. Now looking at more than 4,000 cases over a 23 year period, the researchers concluded there was no advantage to waiting. And indeed, that when patients waited until they felt sick, making repairs turned out to be more difficult and less successful. Success rates were 93 to 96 percent in patients with few or no symptoms, compared to 85 or 86 percent success in those with more severe symptoms. And 5 percent of those with the worst symptoms died in the hospital after surgery, while less than 1 percent of those with no symptoms died in the hospital. Dr. Gilinoff presented the findings at a meeting of the Society of Thoracic Surgeons, so unlike a report in a major journal, the findings haven't been through formal review by independent experts. And there's a catch. The surgery is challenging. And experts say patients should seek out a surgeon who has a solid track record in precisely this type of mitral valve repair. Cardiologist RuPaul Dumagia with the Heart Group in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, says people considering this surgery should be sure their odds of success are high and risks low that the recommendations for repair of the mitral valve really only hold true if the surgeon can tell you that there is a greater than 90 percent chance of successful repair not replacement repair of the valve with a one less than one percent risk of mortality okay so uh, there are there are not very many surgeons who can tell you that that's the case in their hands Surgeons say that when it comes to this type of repair of severe mitral valve regurgitation, the statistics show there's no advantage to waiting. But there's also no doubt that it's quite a blow to be told you should get complex and potentially risky heart surgery when you feel just fine.